Does your junk removal business need SEO? Well, let's put it this way. Does your truck and trailer need fuel to function and go? What's up there, guys? Izzy here again with Do-It-Yourself Junk Removal SEO, where I help junk removal business owners get their business found online, which means more money in their pockets. And today what I want to discuss is the whole concept of SEO. Do you need it? for your junk removal business. Well, in my personal opinion, I think if you do not do SEO, your business is gonna be destroyed by anybody else who's figuring this stuff out. It's absolutely vital to have search engine optimization for your junk removal business these days. Uh, because what happens these days is people basically live on their smartphones. They live on the internet. I know I am constantly on the shit, looking at my investments, I'm looking at my I'm a big Dodger fan, looking up the scores. I'm constantly checking my emails. I'm just constantly on my phone. And grandmas are on Facebook all day long. Um, millennials are on Instagram and all this stuff. So you're constantly on your smartphone and on the internet. And if your business doesn't exist online or it exists out in the real world and you're doing a great job, and I know if you do a great job, the good word of mouth spreads. Um, you start getting referrals and things like that, but there's legions and legions of customers who don't know you even exist. And the nature of junk removal is that people have junk in their backyard or shit in their garage. They know they need to get to it, but they don't really call until one day they walk in the garage, they bang their damn knee. Their wife's been getting on them. They're frustrated and they're like, you know what? I'm tired of the shit. I'm calling the junk removal business. I'm going to get rid of this shit and get it out of my life. And if you're not in front of them when, Obviously, they're gonna the first thing they're gonna do is go on their phone and scroll and type in junk removal near me, junk removal companies, things like that. That's the very first thing that's gonna to come to their mind to go do. And if you're not there in front of them when that happens, you're gonna be in trouble because somebody else is gonna get that business. And I see it so often. I go I like to go online and check out um, junk removal businesses in different towns and see how they're marketing and all that stuff. So I decided to check out. There's a town about 60, 70 miles away from where I live. It's called Santa Maria, California. It's about 120,000 people, pretty good sized town. And I go to see on Craigslist and I see people out there posting their stuff, advertising their stuff on Craigslist, which is great. Um, it's a great start. You got to get your name out there some way, somehow. But then I go on to Google and type in junk removal in that particular town. And I see what I see based on my years of experience of doing this whole marketing stuff online and SEO. I see a vast, vast waste wasteland of zero competition. There's nobody out there even setting up anything. And the ones that are on there are so weak that if you build up a decent site, do a decent, even some shitty SEO work with time, your website's going to start to climb and get found and placed in front of those customers looking for junk removal services. So these days, junk, junk removal SEO is absolutely crucial. If you don't have it, you're going to be in big trouble by the people that do implement it and use it for their business. And these days, it's not really that hard to do. You, all you need is to set up a decent website, really, really optimize your Google listing that Google gives you for free. They want you to put this stuff up here. And a lot of guys don't even take advantage of it. I noticed these guys are doing it. So they're getting some of the business. One of the things I could tell is this guy right here, the top one, it's not even in this town. It's like 30 miles away. But Google can't find anybody else like this guy. Not did he make a website. He didn't set it up. So what Google's doing is giving the customers in this town the next nearest one that's reliable, that's good. And it's a junk removal service that's 30 miles away. So it's just sitting wide open for people to take advantage of. And it just still blows me away that so many people don't even know anything about it. So that's what I want to share with you guys today. If you guys want to learn more about search engine optimization and doing it yourself or having me help you out doing it, website design, website SEO, all that stuff. Uh, just visit my website here on the description below. Click on the link. Check my stuff out. Till next time, guys.